ताजा समाचार तमारी भाषा में मेलववा डाउनलॉड करो गुजराती मिड डे एप Because remember, in ancient times, uh, temples would be built over many decades. Okay, so what are the major ceremonies that were done at the beginning of the construction itself? There's a ceremony that happens to mark out the garba griha. The second puja that happens is once the garba griha is complete. Uh, that's the sanctum santorum. Uh, once that is complete, then the vidra, the murti, is placed in there, and you can do a crown prince and star puja. You know, in ancient times, uh, temples would be built over many decades, and some temples took, like the you know the Kailas Mahadev temple, took more than a hundred years to be built. So the architect knew he would not be alive when the temple would be complete. So what are the major ceremonies that were done? What I learned from my grandfather was that at the beginning of the construction itself. There's a ceremony that happens to mark out the garba griha. Okay, that's the first major puja. Then the second puja that happens is once the garba griha is complete. Uh, that's the sanctum santorum. Uh, once that is complete, then the vidra, the murti, is placed in there, and you can do a crown prince and star puja. Uh, and then the third major ceremony is when the entire temple complex is done. Remember, when it's a major uh, temple like the Brihadeshwara temple. There are no ancient temples in North India. They were all destroyed in the invasion. You have to find them only in the south. It's not just one temple. There are multiple temples in the complex. This takes many decades to be complete. So the third ceremony that happens is once the entire temple complex is complete, and the main mandir shikara, the spire is also complete. You do the purna kalasha uh, at the top. So that's a third ceremony. From my understanding, and I'm assuming the garba griha, the sanctum santorum, is complete. Uh, so my understanding was that the pran pratishtha can happen. Okay. What is the difference between consecration and pran pratishtha? Look, consecration. Uh, consecration is a Western term. You know, in, in their interpretation of their religion, uh, the divine is something that exists outside of the universe, and the universe or everything is a product of sin, it's a product of guilt, right? Uh, so therefore, consecration is when you make something divine. But in the Dharmic way, in the way of Hindus, everything is already divine. Uh, So the entire you and I are divine. That's what Namaste means. The mouth of the divine within you. Uh, the tree is the mountains. Everything is divine. So we know it's not really strictly consecration. Pran Pratishtha is that particular temple, the the the, the type of uh, deva or devi that you had in there. That force is infused into that uh, murti through that Pran Pratishtha. Like in the Ram Jan Bhumi, Ram Lord Ram is there in his as a lalla, right? As a child. Uh, you can have Lord Ram as a king, as uh, it is in the Orcha, as he is in the Orcha temple. You can have the traditional Ram Darbar, right, with Lord Ram, with Lord Shankar, Sita Ma, and Lord Hanuman. Now here he is there as a child. So the Pran Pratishtha would take that role. Subscribe to Gujarati Midday. Bell icon पर click करी ने मेरे वो तमाम video ना direct notification.